Hello everyone. Uh, on this episode, uh, I'll be uh, talking about the history of the sport bike that I own. Uh, I'll probably show show. I'll probably talk briefly uh, on some of the other ones. Um, the bike the year, the era that my bike was in uh, was the explosion of sport bikes uh, when the sport bikes finally made it to uh, the U.S. So, with that being said, uh, we'll get to it right after this. Welcome, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Corvette's Garage. Uh, in this episode, uh, it, it's kind of a bummer episode um, uh, because I might have to get rid of my uh, sport bike. Um, I tried to uh, get on it uh, last week and I, it's probably too early with a, because of the surgery that I had uh, and There's no crying in baseball! Um, I couldn't get my right foot on the uh, peg. Um, I was really struggling trying to do that. Um, uh, you know, and uh, just a quick uh, doctor's note, a doctor's review. <laughs> um, I'm still working out. Uh, I uh, lost about 15 pounds so far. You mean you eat other people's lunches? Stop it! Uh, I still have a lot more to go. Um, I want to get down to at least uh, 190 to 200 because that always was a good weight for me. Um, you no, know, uh, unfortunately, I had a injury about five days ago, and I, I injured my back. You're bleeding, man. I ain't got time to bleed because I was powering up on my weights, and uh, my back couldn't take it. So uh, I am uh, I'm going to start working out tomorrow. I think I'm ready to go back to it. Concentrate, focus, power, remember balance, make good fight. Um, I just got to work around my back and uh, figure out which uh, exercise actually hurt myself, hurt me. So, um, and once I once I figure that out, I can uh, uh, adjust accordingly. Uh, but I'm not backing down on the weights. So you think you got what it takes? I'll tell you what I got. Your wife's pussy on my breast. Uh, this is a 1985 uh, VF1000R. Yes, it's 1985. For those of you that know about the VF1000R, the 1985 came with the uh, uh, square headlight. Um, I converted the uh, uh, over to the twin headlight, the way it should have been from uh, the get-go. Uh, they started producing these over, uh, sending these over to Europe. Uh, they're very popular in Europe. Um, there's a strong, strong uh, gathering over there on, on these type of bikes. Uh, and they came in different versions, different paint schemes. Uh, uh, the, uh, the one I really like was the Rothman uh, edition. That's that one right there. Uh, this one is actually red, white, and blue. Um, and uh, that they, uh, they, they, that was a nice paint scheme for our for us too. That's this one right here. Really nice looking uh, 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 bike, sport bike for for his day. Uh, still, I mean, if you see one with the original colors, you wouldn't know the difference uh, if it was a new sport bike or not. Uh, but anyway, um, they uh, uh, unf unfortunately by the time they sent this one over. Uh, but we already had the Honda Interceptor, and this is part of the Honda uh, Interceptor family. We already had those. We had the first one coming in '84, and that was uh, a 750. And then 1985, they had the tariff tax, uh, which then they downsized to the 700. And you can still buy the 750. So I had one of the Interceptors uh, that I bought brand new. It's that one right there, and. Um, uh, that was the uh, the bike that I had the major accident in. It, even though I was all jacked up, I was in crutches for a very long time. And uh, while I was in crutches, I was rebuilding my bike. I was working on my bike. Uh, I had a really good friend, uh, uh, actually it was a brother of mine, 
uh, his name was uh, Don, Don, Donnie. Uh, he's passed on uh, now, you know, a while back, but uh, uh, he was very, we, we always did everything together, you know, and uh, uh, he helped me um, get that bike back uh, back together. Um, I mod remodified the suspension. Uh, I modified the motor. Uh, I, by the time I was done with that bike, it was pushing 125 to the ground. Uh, that's this one right here. Um, and the uh, lowers, um, those were Lockhart lowers, uh, which uh, uh, back then, actually, I mean, but. Back in that, back in '87, that was, uh, it was I got them for 200 bucks, but that was that was quite a bit of money uh, for '87. Uh, so, but it it came painted, uh, it, it added a different scheme to the uh, uh, to the bike. Um, it, it, it looked really good, and that bike was that bike was fast, incredibly fast. After I was done with it, um, there was nothing, nothing, nothing that could, that could beat me at the time. You know, um, even uh, at one time, me and my brother we went down. We were going down to Santa Clara, and, and for cruising, you know. And we got up to the stoplight, and uh, um, they we, we both looked at each other. He went to one side, I went to the other side of the stoplight, and we pull up. And, the, and everybody on, on their sport bikes, they're all looking at us. Where the hell are these guys come from? The light turned green. And it was on, man. And I swear to God, I smoked every one of those bikes. Uh, and and they, were, they were Suzuki's, they were Kawasaki's, I mean, the Ninja was in there. I mean, this, it was crazy fun, you know? You know, and I started backing off, and here comes this 1100. You know, I was like, oh, shit. No, 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 that ain't happening. You know? I cracked, the, uh, I cracked, cracked the throttle, dropped the gear, cracked the throttle, and just took it off, man. Everybody knows you never go full retard. Uh, it was, it was fine. I, that, that was really a highlight in my life. That one moment that I'll never forget that happened. So they had no idea the bike was modified. So anyway, uh, on with this one here. Um, the uh, it wasn't really that successful uh, because, like I said, that we already had sport bikes. And by the time they pushed this one out, we already had the uh, Kawasaki 900, which was lighter, uh, and because of the lightweight, it was faster. So, and not to say that this is, this is slow, but this is like a 600-pound bike. If you think I'm a porker, then just come right out and say it. You know, but the technology involved in, in this bike was just so, uh, nothing, uh, uh, it was it, nothing compared to it at that time, you know? It was great. Uh, uh, what, what's what's involved in this thing, and this is not stock. It does have a little bit of modification in it. Um, you know, it's uh, in, uh, I have a four bar net clutch in it. Uh, front suspension is uh, progressive, uh, and the rear suspension is a uh, revalved uh, CBR 900 RR uh, shock with a reservoir uh, with a Hypertex. I think they're called Hypertex Hypertex springs, a performance spring. Um, uh, like I said, there's a strong gathering for these bikes uh, around the world, uh, even even here in the States. Uh, just the parts are hard to find. You can't, you can't get parts. So, but this is this has been a, a very fun bike, and uh, I'm kind of bummed at the idea that I might have to sell it, you know? I mean, uh, I've always had both. You want to be a farmer? Here's a couple of acres. You know, uh, a V4 or a V-twin, you know? but. Uh, uh, it kind of kind of sucks. Uh, I'm not gonna give up though. To rise from the ashes and grab glory. You know, I'm gonna give it a little more time. I got a feeling that uh, this uh, back, I'm still delicate back there uh, in, in my back. You know, and uh, I'm not 100 full, 100 percent fully recovered. Yet. My first surgery took nine months uh, before I was fully recovered, but that was nothing near as what I got back here going on back here with all the hardware and everything now. Um, so, uh, you know, it's like my chiropractor, he, he says he won't touch me until about two years as far as any lower lower back compressions. Uh, he'll do the compressions on the upper back and the neck, but he won't do that until, you know, uh, a two-year mark. So, but 
I mean, he's, he's stretching me out. He's working on the stretching exercises, and he's really stretching the hell out of me. So I'm, I'm starting to loosen up a little bit on these uh, uh, right side. So uh, I'll continue doing that. Uh, I got a feeling it'd be probably another six months before uh, I, I um, unfortunately, before I start feeling nothing back there, you know, because even like when I twist in the bed, you know, I get pain back there. So it's still, still delicate. But anyway, man, this thing's uh, dirty as fuck. Well, shit. I, I can't believe it. I, I sh I'm showing a dirty bite. Well, let me, let's take care of that. Okay. Uh, not too bad. A little bit better. Uh, but anyway. Um, uh, hopefully I won't have to do that because I love riding my sport bike, um, you know, and, and I love uh, uh, the twisties on it. And even though it's a big, heavy bike, it, it handles pretty good for uh, uh, what it is, you know. Of course, the modif um, suspension modification assisted with that, but uh, uh, I, I just, the thought of losing the v my V4 is, you know, I don't know. You know, I'm definitely going to go uh, sport touring uh, uh, after this if I have to sell this but anyway uh, like I said it's kind of a bummer episode but uh, you know uh, with me not working out I got bored might as well do make, make a video so here I am making a video anyway um, I do really appreciate you guys uh, uh, st staying tuned and, and uh, watching these videos that I produce uh, I really thank you for that um, you know, uh, I'm going to be pushing more videos out here, uh, especially on the Corvette. I'm going to be working on that one this weekend. Um, but, uh, um, you know, don't, don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. I would appreciate that. Um, and also hit that bell. Um, you know, uh, uh, what I've learned, if you hit the bell, and if you leave it on personal, it, it, you know, it might be some of the uh, uh, videos. I, uh, aware of some of the videos, but if you do them all, you get every one video that I push out. Um, so, um, again, thank you very much for watching the channel. Uh, I hope you like it, and if you like it, go do me a favor, hit the like. That's more important than anything else. That lets me know that uh, um, uh, my con my content is uh, uh, appreciated. Appreciated. So. Uh, Anyway, you got you guys take care. Like I said, I'm not giving up on this baby here yet. No. But you guys take care. You be safe out there. Uh, and have a great weekend. Bye. Don't let that bastard.